All right, your apartment slide. So this is where you're gonna choose your apartment. You're gonna tell me what the address is, what the rent is, and a picture of the apartment here on this slide. So your available options are by clicking this icon and then clicking below it to take you to your available apartment choices. Once they load, you're gonna look for that information that was on that slide beforehand and include it on the slide. So here is the amount of the apartment each month. Here's the address, and then here's a description of the apartment. So go ahead and go through, read the descriptions, and find one you like. I'm going to settle on the Eagles Nest. So I'm going to highlight and click Control C on my keyboard to copy the apartment address. Go back to my slides. Click in my box and I'm going to click Control Shift V to keep the formatting and delete the extra entry space I had. And now I need to find my rent. The rent is a $950 a month. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to type $950 a month. Okay, I need my image. I'm going to go back and use my sniffing tool again. So for using my sniffing tool, I'll click New and draw a box over the image I want to make. Click Control C to copy, come back to my slide and click on it just to make sure it knows I am on that page. Click Control V to paste the image and adjust the size of it to fit in my box. Again, if you do not have Windows 10 and you cannot find the snipping tool, you can go back to what I mentioned in slide four and watch a video on how to use print screen, or you can also search online on how to uh, take a screenshot and post it. All right, so the apartment slide itself is done, but in step two, it also reminds you to include your monthly rent on your income and expense slide. All right, so $950 for rent. Come back here, look for rent, and then type $950. All right. Now, if I'm wanting to know how much money I have left in a month, again, I am paid every month my amount next to monthly wage. If I want to figure out how much I have left over, I can add all my expenses. So my set expenses right here, and now I know what my rent is. So if I add this and this and get my total and subtract it from my monthly wage, I will know how much money I have left for the month. And I can consider that when I'm working on the items over here. Remember the starting balance is only a one-time payment. So for the first month, I will only get that amount. I will not get it in the next following months. I will only get my monthly wage. And that is the apartment slide. Then move on to your next slide.